Hello friends and family and welcome to our boring meditation stuff for September 25th. Today I wanted to talk about dead friends <laughs> um, and actually both dead friends and dead family um, as kind of a counterpoint to yesterday's video about what we leave behind. I think that it's important for us to remember that um, our dead friends and our dead family leave behind a wake just as we do and that we can this is not meditation right to contemplate that um, but we should from time to time who are the people in our lives that really made a big difference how did they make a big difference could we be like that and are we thankful for the difference that they've made to us? Um, I received an email recently about my grandmother and I think that uh, those memories, memories of grandparents are often, <laughs> they're often um, deeply untainted <laughs> I would say they're often very innocent they're often very whole and wholesome um, but they often have an incredible amount to teach us about ourselves and our own lives and the way that we interact with society and I think that we can use that as a sort of microcosm or as an example for our other dead friends and one day most of our friends will be dead <laughs> we will we will be looking around and we will see that we are next and most people are gone and we should come to terms with that idea that we can't hold on to our friends forever either relationships will fade or they will pass on or we will pass on naturally and that the end of relationships is a natural process but that this wake which follows every person it's in effect uh, recursive or fractal <laughs> that my wake influences your wake and if we have a relationship between us then your wake again influences my wake and so on and so forth and outward toward all the other people that we um, share our lives with closely or at a distance um, and the power of the wake is such if we are a stone dropped into the center of the pond and someone is near the shore they may barely even notice us but we might still get them wet I think that this particular contemplation of the inevitability of death those dead members uh, of society who have influenced us whether they are close like a grandparent or whether they are far it is a useful contemplation and I think that it is um, a part of every society every religion for a reason because people have figured out that it makes sense to think about this thinking right not meditating this is not meditation but in the same way that thinking about our actions can enable a system of ethics which enables our meditation thinking about others actions and how we can grow from that and how we can be um, grateful for the actions that other people have taken um, that's that's worth our time even if it's just a few minutes every day 
<laughs> here and there. Okay, I, I hope everyone is uh, taking a moment to think about their dead friends <laughs> and taking care of themselves and taking care of everyone around them. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Goodbye.